Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to another video with me. And this month's creative challenge with Lavinia is Magic Meadow. And I thought this lend itself really well to this theme. So I'm using Tree of Dreams here, popping out from the side. I've got the forest mushroom, meadow mushroom, and the miniatures as well. I'm using one of the new fairy charm sets. So usually we use them hanging down, but they work just as well popping up. I've got two mini flutterbys, and I've got a stencil in the background. I'm using Glory. The size card that I'm using is an A6 card, which is 10 and a half centimeters by 14 and a half centimeters. We'll get started. So there's my card. The colors that I'm going to be using, wilted violet and kitched flamingo, but any pinks or purples will do. I love oxides. And then I'm using charming pink in Versafine Clear. And as always, for my silhouette stamping, I'll be using Nocturne. So the first thing that I'm going to do is ink up my Tree of Dreams. I'm going to move these out of the way a little. And even though I'm not using the entire stamp, I'm still going to ink up the whole top of it. I'm only using the top part, so I don't need to ink up the trunk, but I am going to ink up all of the branches. And I'm going to put pop it like that that side and repeat for the other side and I'm also going to do a tiny bit in the middle there. There we go. Just going to clean off my stamp. So the way I clean my stamps, just with a bit of water in my spritzy bottle, and I always have a pile of tea towels, old face cloths, towels, mostly lint free, and that's how I clean my stamps and there and I try to do it after I've used them each time so that they're ready for the next one. And I store my stamps on these white tabbed sheets and, and then I store them in little boxes. I do have one of the gorgeous Lavinia binders for my pound stamps. Right, there we are. Now I'm going to stamp my main mushroom, the meadow mushroom, straight in the centre of my card. And then I'm going to take the forest mushroom, this is the curved one. pop this so that it is coming into the card like that. I'm going to take the mini version of that curved mushroom and I'm just going to set it inside the other one like that. And now I'm just going to have fun along the bottom with my the straight version, the little mini meadow mushroom. And I'm just going to put that at different heights along the bottom of my card. And I'm going to take another one of the larger meadow mushroom. And I'm just going to pop him again at different heights. That's what gives you the interest in this card. There we go. So you've got an assortment of mushrooms along the bottom of the card. I'm just going to pop all these away and give them a clean. And now we're going to add our foliage along the bottom. So this is 
one of the gorgeous new foliage stamps. And again, different heights gives you that interest in between the mushrooms. I think these are perfectly proportioned, these stamps. And then I took this gorgeous stamp from the Fairy Charm set and I stamped it in between some of the foliage. I apologise that you haven't seen that on video, but something happened to the recording and it stopped part way through. So you can see I've just varied the heights of my mushrooms, of my foliage and this gorgeous Fairy Charm in between. So I'm going to take my Kitsch Flamingo, squish it onto my mat, take my spritzy bottle and my one inch flat brush. I love this, it works really well for creating a wash. And I'm gonna pick up as much of this ink that will be absorbed onto my brush as I can. And then I'm going to swirl it. You've seen me do this before, I'm sure. Swirl it around the center of my card. You can use that ink and mop it on, put it onto a different card. And then I'm going to take Wilted Violet and do exactly the same. Spritz it with a bit of water. I haven't cleaned off my brush because it's sort of the same colourway. And then I'm just going to go around the edge of the card to create this little meadow type look. If you want it darker, you just put less water in the mix. I do have a YouTube channel. I'd love it if you joined me there. It's Karen Telfer. And at the bottom of each of my videos, there is a full list of all the stamps that I have been using with the links to the Lavinia sites. So if you're ever in any doubt as to which stamp I've used, You'll find it right there. So there we have this lovely little story happening here. I'm just going to dry that and then I'm going to come back to you before we do our stenciling. Then I'm going to take my wilted violet and my fabulous glory stencil and my fabulous Lavinia brush. If you haven't used one of these, they are fabulous. There's such soft bristles there. And I'm just going to put a bit of this foliage here and there around the edge where the purple would have been. If you want to move the stencil, there's no problems with that. But I quite managed quite a good orientation with what I've got here. There we are. So you've got a little bit of the foliage happening there. I think I want a bit more in here. So. And another one sweeping down there. So you can see, I'm not being too careful, not joining it up very well, but that's creating us a lovely little scene. Now, before I put my butterflies on, which is nearly the last thing that we do, I'm going to frame the edge with my smoothie and some wilted violet. just going to go around the edge you'll see me do this in a lot of my work always create a slightly darker frame around the edge because that draws the eye in so fabulous there we have it now I'm going to take some white pen now you can when white paint, I mean. You can use a Posca pen, but I have this 
gorgeous white paint, so I'm going to use that. Again, creating a bit of a wash with it. And I'm just going to flick that over my card. So I'm tapping it with another brush and I'm holding this brush pretty lightly. So that way it bounces and you get some lovely splatters. And because it's paint, I will put my paintbrush straight into the water. And then the last few things that I'm going to be doing is stamping up my flutterbys and putting a bit of extra interest at the bottom of my little meadow. Stamping up my butterflies, I'm going to be using Nocturne. And this one I'm going to be positioning so his little feelers are just on the mushroom. And this other one facing the other way. And then I'm going to take Charming, Versifying Claire, and this stamp is from the Pound range. It's Flowers, I think it's called. As I said, I always put a list of all the products that I've used at the bottom of my videos. So there you go. That sort of gives you this magic meadow little look. Then finally we're just going to finish off our little filter buys. I'm going to use wilted violet which is what I've used on the whole thing. Spritz it with a bit of water and use a tiny paintbrush. To colour in his wings. Now you can use pencils, you can use a variegated colourway, but I would try to keep this in a single tone, adding to the magic. There we are, it dries really quickly. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some glossy accents onto his wings. You could use some glitter. I always um, put a tiny bit onto my mat, then I know how much pressure I need to apply. If you haven't used glossy accents before, it's a fabulous medium. It's like a gel gloss medium. It runs clear. It finds its own level. So you can see I'm using it like I would a pencil or a paintbrush to draw the glossiness over the wings. Don't ever shake it because it gets bubbles in it. Although you can get the bubbles out by just pricking it with a little pin. And so there we have my magic meadow video for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'd love to see what you make. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye for now.